the harness to it. Adam Fritz was paralyzed at 21. The accident happened when he was commuting home on his motorcycle during LA rush hour. And a table had fallen off the back of a truck and it was on the freeway and like typical Southern California traffic, everything was packed and had nowhere really to go. The connection between Fritz's brain and his legs was severed. But recently, during brief sessions at a UC Irvine lab, that connection was restored. Scientists linked Fritz's brain with his legs by placing electrodes on his head and muscle stimulators behind his knees. That empowered Fritz to move his legs again, using his own thoughts. It's absolute concentration, but for this, it's each step has to be deliberate and very focused. The video's on. The researchers took videos throughout the study. In one of them, you see Fritz strapped into a safety harness and steadying himself with a walker. Start walking. His movements are a bit wobbly, but essentially what you see is Fritz putting one foot in front of the other to walk across a room using his own brain power. What this proves basically is that the brain signals that underlie walking are still preserved years after paralysis. Zoran Nenadic is one of the UC Irvine scientists who led the study. They can potentially be harnessed using technological tools and they can potentially be converted into something that's useful such as walking in this case. Nenadich says this study was a breakthrough because Fritz didn't rely on any robotic components or exoskeleton parts to move his legs for him. He used his own brain power to stimulate his own muscles. Before researchers let Fritz try that, they made him go through a few months of brain training. The goal of the game is to walk forward and make a stop by each of these cones. Fritz had to learn how to move a video game character using an EEG cap instead of a controller. The researchers needed someone with mental stamina. They also needed someone physically capable of supporting their own weight without breaking a bone, someone who wouldn't faint right after standing up. Nenadich says Fritz was a good fit. I think one of the reasons why he's been able to take this to the next level is I think he he maintains a fairly healthy lifestyle. He uh, keeps himself uh, physically engaged. Uh, he does get out of the chair once in a while. Fritz stays active by going to Project Walk, a kind of specialty gym for people with spinal cord injuries. They're headquartered here in Carlsbad. At Project Walk locations, clients go above and beyond typical therapy. They use weights and treadmills to push the limits of their motor function. All the exercises that our clients do are out of their wheelchair. And so it's load bearing, trying to promote bone density, bone growth, and general overall health. Brian Malkinson is Project Walk's chief operating officer. He says scientists often get in touch with Project Walk when they're looking for motivated volunteers who can handle the physical demands of this kind of research. That's how the UC Irvine team got connected with Adam Fritz. I know it was a factor to him being successful and being chosen. Uh, for these studies. You know, the criteria is very specific as far as type of injury, ability, um, and I know Adam, you know, fit that mold because of his experience with us. Fritz says being a research subject at UC Irvine gave him a glimpse of the future. He knows that this technology is not ready for the real world yet. The gear is currently too clunky, and the brain signal processing needs some refinement. Researchers want to package the whole system into a small implant that would go inside the skull, but that'll take years, if not decades, of work. However, Fritz holds out hope that a streamlined version could be ready for daily use within his lifetime. When I was first paralyzed, um, you know, then the doctors tell you that you're never going to walk again. You want to hold on to that hope, but I think at some point you need to, you know, come to reality and this is the state of the world we're in right now and I'm not going to walk right now, but I hope someday I will. So to have those feelings and then have this happen, it's like, oh, it, it will, you know, it, it, it can happen. You know, you, you, you can bring back that hope. So far, Fritz is the only person with a spinal cord injury who's used this system to walk. He wants to see other volunteers move the science forward by taking first steps of their own. David Wagner, KPBS News.